Hello, this is Victor at RestoreYourMercedes.com. This video is for Lori in Maryland. So, this video is for E-Gas module, which is SL500 E-Gas, and it is installed in 9092 500 SEL. This is original E-Gas that came with this car, the test car, and this is a V8, and this is obviously also V8. So this is a quick test just to show that this unit is not working. I already put it in, put on the ignition, and I actually can show you what's happening here. Uh, camera will not pick it up, but basically it appears to me that the current e-gas module that's installed in the vehicle from 500, from SL500 has a failure in clutch circuit because the motor I can hear the motor and the throttle tries to activate, so it tries to keep the plate wherever it has to be, but the clutch does not engage. And if it doesn't engage, it spins and it doesn't do anything. After that, it would go into limp regardless. So let's start the vehicle. So first thing you would see, obviously, ASR light is on right at once. Okay. I do not have gas response. This is cold start by the way because as you can see engine coolant is still low so RPMs will be around there at cold start but they should drop they do not so as you can see the gas response here's my here's my uh, pedal nothing is nothing is happening now we have limp mode as it would have been usually found rpms are at a thousand no gas response now if i press further of course it's going to accelerate but that's a limp mode acceleration this is a this is a mechanical acceleration so obviously we have an issue here with the gas module what i'm going to try to show is the actual clutch problem andrew how you doing buddy I'm okay, making a video. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do now is we do have ignition on. I'm trying to show you the noise what the throttle is making. For this reason, just so I don't have to go inside the vehicle and activate and reactivate the ignition. I'm just gonna pull out our base module. So now what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to put the EGAS, I mean I'm gonna put the base module back in and listen to the noise that the throttle makes. As you heard that noise, like the motor spun, but nothing in hap nothing else happened. That is not working EGAS. So just to show you that this throttle body is okay, I'm going to reinstall original EGAS module and show you that indeed it is the EGAS issue, not the throttle body issue. So again, I'm making this live, so no editing or anything. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull this EGAS out, the one that we're testing right now. Okay, so this is the one that came to me. I'm putting this e gas back in. This one sits uh, sits inside pretty nicely. So now we're going to start the car, and the difference. Well, first off, you saw RPMs go up and no SR light. And in a sec, in like a couple of seconds, few seconds rather, they will go down even lower. So the cold start deactivates. There they go. About 650. And obviously, our gas response. That's the gas pedal here. We 
response as well. And last time, let me put on that other e gas in, and you'll see that it's not working again. It's just to confirm it second time. So ignition is off. No power going to e-gas module because the power to e-gas comes from base module. When ignition is off, base module is off, so this is safe to do with the battery being connected to the vehicle. All four power lines go through base module. Base module is off, e-gas has zero power. So okay, so we install our e-gas in question and let's start the car. So right away, ASR light is illuminated and also you haven't seen RPMs go up to like 1700 as a, as a start RPMs and then as you can see they lower down but they're still high. And now here's our limp mode where it's stuck at 1000 RPM. Gas response, no gas response. So. Clearly, this e-gas module that came for testing is actually faulty. So, uh, probably wire shorted an original throttle body and they damaged clutch circuit. So, this is the e-gas in question here. As you can see it, 129. Now, many people will say, yeah, you can do it this way. Yes, you can because schematic diagrams for throttles are same as uh, all V8s. Now the pinouts are a little different on the connectors, but after the connector, the diagram is exactly the same from 90, late 91s all the way to uh, 95s. So that's definitely a good test. So that's the situation here. So that's what I see. This is a V8 M119 engine. It's a first gen, and uh, that's pretty much also a first gen e gas. I mean, there was, well, this is the first first gen, like this is the throttle with the big connector, like big round connector. Uh, 95 SL500 will have like a barrel looking connector on the throttle body, but again, the difference in the pinouts, but uh, the schematics on computers are the same. All right, so this is going to wrap it right now, and I'll call the customer, we'll discuss. Alright again, this is Victor at RestoryMercedes.com. Thank you for watching.